Hi, thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports. It's a Monday afternoon broadcast of the NBA. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. We've got the Boston Celtics taking on the Los Angeles Lakers. It'll be Los Angeles off the tip. And now the opening lineup for Boston. They've got Havlicek, Bird out there with Pierce. Then it's Russell. And it's Kuzi in at the one spot. Abdul Jabbar. Bird pulls it in. Fourteen feet away. Kuzi can't hit. Boy, he's got to be disappointed in the result there. I mean, the defender really didn't make any impact at all. West, that's good. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. Here's Kuzi. The dish to Pierce. Passes it to Havlicek. Pierce against Bryant. Pierce kicks to Russell. Just five on the clock. The three. No good that time. And the Lakers take it the other way. Johnson surveying the floor. Pass to Kobe. To the middle. Here's Shaq. And the dunk by O'Neal. Boy, nobody wants to get in his way when he's this deep. Watch out. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. And despite the size disadvantage, attacking the heart of that defense. You know what, guys? Honestly, I didn't think he'd win that battle. I mean, that's a lot of height to give up. The Celtics shooting their first foul shot of the game. And Kuzi's just an all-around talent, superb passer, who also rebounds well at his position. And, and guess what, folks? He can also score with the best of them. Now here's Johnson. Pass to Bryant. Stolen by Bird. He trains the quick shot. This is what Bird can do when he feels the defense over committing to him. Has the control to pull up on a dime and pop it home. One of the toughest shots in the game. Here's Johnson. Wants to get it to Kobe and does. Absolutely the prettiest play in basketball executed to perfection. I don't think you get an argument there. Everybody loves the alley-oop. Unless you're the team getting punched on. That would be the difference. Boy, I'm absolutely shocked he didn't get that one to go. Usually, he's money from deep. And so it's Russell with it. He'll bring it up for the Boston Celtics. They trail by one. To the inside. It's blocked by Shaq. Love seeing O'Neal use his body to come up with those blocks. An imposing force and a pretty consistent defender as well. And it's out of bounds. The Celtics will take it the other way. And now, let's revisit that exceptional mobile one block. And early in a game, these sorts of plays really can set the tone. Just over two and a half minutes played here so far in the first quarter. Pierce, the pass to Havlicek. Outside, Russell, and the pass to Pierce. Back to Russell. Six to shoot. Here's Havlicek. Good, and the assist goes to Russell. Just a relentless machine. Never seems to fatigue. Havlicek, once he gets loose inside, it's tough to keep him from hurting. And so it's West with it. He brings it up for the Los Angeles Lakers. Out to Kobe from outside the arc. The putback controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. O'Neal's got his second bucket of the game to go. 
Nice tip in there. I mean, he's got like a sixth sense in terms of where the miss is going to go. That is really a talent. Now here's Bird. Pass to Kuzi. O'Neal comes with the double team. Three-pointer, Bird. And Shaquille O'Neal pulls it down. The Lakers in the lead. Here's Bryant out to West. Bangs on the trifecta. West has got five. And this is where the nickname comes from, Mr. Outside. West can timeout, kill timeout. you from distance. And now the first timeout called here for Boston. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. A platoon swap here for the Lakers. Boston making some changes. McHale passes to Cowens. Rondo kicks to McHale. It's Allen on the win. Nice ball movement by Boston. Four on the clock. Here's Jones. Here's Cowens. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, and Cowens just vacuums in those rebounds. Constantly working to snag second chance opportunities for his club. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. Well, I like the fact they've already been getting a lot of high-quality shots in the paint. And the other thing, though, is their execution in terms of their ball movement has been flawless. Sets up a lot of easy scoring opportunities. Here's Chamberlain. Pass to Wilkes. In the corner, it's James. Again, Los Angeles. James is really a clever player. I mean, he uses trickery as much as he does brute force, proving to be one step ahead of them there. Now here's Rondo. Dishes it to Allen. Now Chamberlain. Outside Baylor. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Hey, we all know this. It's no secret. I mean, one of the areas of Wilt's game that's below average is free throw shooting. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw good from Chamberlain. Chamberlain hits them both. Celtics trail by five. Now here's Rondo. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Baylor against Allen. That'll be Boston as it goes out of bounds. Celtics retain possession. Whitey's checked in for the Celtics. Here's Jones. 43 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Six on the shot clock. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Guys, uh, they've been getting it done. They came out with a mission, and they have been tough to stop. Boy, that defense smothered them in there. Love the intensity. Down low, Cowens. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. Cowens has got five points so far. And here is Goodrich. Pass to James. 
And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. When LeBron has it inside like that, I mean, it's almost impossible to stop him. Worst case scenario, he's going to get himself to the foul line. Lakers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And you know, when you've played over a decade and a half in the league, it's expected that you're going to slow down, but LeBron still going strong. And both free throws good for LeBron. And so the first quarter is in the books. Los Angeles on top. Up. Here. What have they been doing or not doing in the game? What we saw in that first quarter, uh, they won their matchups defensively. Yeah, I agree. I mean, you, you look at the energy, the effort defensively, they put it all out there in that opening quarter. On the court for the Celtics, second quarter underway. Garnett out there with Allen. Then it's White. Then it's Jones. And it's Cowens in at the five, patrolling the paint. Superb timing by LeBron on that alley oop. And so it's Jones. He'll bring it up for Boston. Seven point differential. No good on the shot. And, the, and they're controlling the boards, Kevin. That's plus five in that category. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge part, a huge component of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. Guys, they're looking for a way to score here. Yeah, they've had a tough time taking the lid off. Jones in the post. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. And if you're the guy who has to guard him, it is never going to be an easy night for you. Now let's go to the sideline and catch up with our Hall of Famer, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. It's a misnomer that in the era of three-point shooting... People don't want anyone to take mid-range shots. Many of the league's elite players still thrive there. Kawhi Leonard is one, and he explained how. He said, it's hard to defend guys that shoot twos. Once you get to the playoffs, it becomes a half-court game. We're closing in on two minutes played here in the second quarter. Here's Kuzi. He's guarded by Johnson. And the call is going to be, yes, yes it is, an illegal screen. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was... 40 years ago. Good on the bucket. And it's an 11 point Laker lead. I mean, it takes a lot to knock O'Neal off balance. A massive player who just fins off the D with ease. It's stolen by Abdul Jabbar. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. And the basket is good. O'Neal's got four this quarter. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. Havlicek dishes to Russell. Back to Havlicek. Over West. And it's Havlicek missing. And they've got a big lead, not just 
on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it. Gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. So it's Boston now after Magic Johnson's three-pointer that didn't go. Havlicek against Bryant. A new 14 for Boston. Goes up again. That one's good. The Laker lead is cut down now to just 11 on the basket from Russell. Really crashing that offensive glass. The instincts, the long arms, the quickness of jump. Russell kills you with second chance points. And he comes up with the deuce. Johnson's got his first basket. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the D. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. you got to be tougher defensively. It's Pierce with the drive. Goes back up. He takes it up and lays it in. And Pierce always been great at just getting into the heart of the defense. Feels real comfortable when he's in attack mode around the rim. West finds Johnson over Kuzi. And that's collected by Bird. Celtics trail by 11. Right side Pierce. And that one off the back of the rim and in. There's the peripheral vision we talk about. Bird finding a wide open teammate. West with the ball. Five points in the game. A floater. Changes up. Another shot. O'Neal misses. Havlicek outside. Over West. And it's Havlicek missing. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. And how about the reach of O'Neal there? A huge target for his teammates on these alley-oops. Here's the pass to Havlicek. Here's against Kobe. Now here's Pierce. He's covered closely. Shot clock at three. Free throw line jump shot. Good on the jump shot. Pierce has got six points in the quarter. And, and I like the fact that he really was unfazed by that scoreless first quarter. And now you can see him getting into a rhythm. Johnson kicks to Bryant. From the top of the key, he buries it. And the Lakers lead by 11. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on them. It's a four-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Back to Pierce. And it's sent back by O'Neal. Johnson up top. So versatile defensively is Bill Russell. Excellent defending the post as well as guarding on the perimeter. And So it's Boston now. They trail by 11. Abdul-Jabbar is out there with O'Neal. Then there's West. Then there's Kobe. And it's Johnson in at the point. That's the Laker five. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Here's Kobe. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got three assists in the game. Pierce against Bryant. Pierce kicks to Havlicek. Here's Pierce. Down to five on the shot clock. Some solid defense from Kobe. 
Well, you know, this is what happens. You can't afford to lose concentration, even for a nanosecond. Johnson outside. Now the pass to O'Neal. It's good. Now he's shooting six for seven. When it comes to distributing the ball, nobody does it better than Magic. When one of his guys has a clean look, the ball is there quickly and on target. Now here's Pierce. Six points for him. Here's Russell. A beautiful reverse layup. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Pierce against Kobe, and he makes that one. Kobe's got four points this quarter. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Celtics trail by 15. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Havlicek kicks to Pierce. Rebounded by the Lakers. Johnson's got his fourth rebound in this one. Bryant passes to O'Neal and stolen by Russell. Pierce dishes to Bird. Rest with some nice D. Lakers leading by 15. On the wing, Johnson. Here's Shaq. Makes it off the glass. O'Neal's got 14. That would be four in a row for him now as they have come racing out of the gate to start this second half. Timeout, now timeout. a timeout called by Boston. Shaq is really having a good game here. And he's been taking it to the rack all game, and they haven't been able to contain him. They have to put up better fight on the inside. And the Celtics making a change here. A little over two and a half minutes off the clock in this final half of play. Havlicek against Bryant. And it's Havlicek missing. Havlicek's gotten just one of six shots to fall here. LeBron passes to... Oh, Are you kidding me? Missed. Bryant skying high. The slam at home. Always looking to stuff with style. Her. Unable to get that one. Good D by Gasol. Outside, Kobe. Here's Mikan. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. Yeah, letting it rip. They're just having fun right now. Yeah, offensively, they've just been rolling. Impossible to stop. Okay, well, let's check in with David Aldridge, who's reporting from the sideline. Hey, Kevin. We know that for years, the NBA has thought about a postseason play-in tournament get more teams and fans involved. Last year's pandemic stoppage basically necessitated its implementation. For the NBA, the disruption of business as usual enabled innovation and risk-taking. I don't want to be too hoity-toity, but it was Albert Einstein who once said, in the midst of every crisis lies great opportunity. Guys, back to you. You're right. Thank you, David. No matter what looks they get, they just can't convert to stop this run. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Here's Mikan. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 23 points. Yeah, you know, sometimes you just got to take your medicine and wrap Mikan up because he's a big guy to deal with. Lakers shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. That free throw, no good. And really, nobody's had a bigger impact on the NBA than George Mike. And he continues to set the standard for post play. I mean, scoring, defending, Mike improves how an elite big man can change the game. Baylor, he's checked in for Pau Gasol. Good on the second free throw. 
Here's Rondo. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions. Right now, they need a basket. Now a timeout called by Boston. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. One forty-one left to play in the third. Now the Lakers on the break. James with the ball. Yep, that one goes in there. James has got eight points. Hey, whatever adjustments they made at halftime, they are working to perfection. You know, they came out of the locker room, revved up the gas pedal, and haven't slowed down yet. Now here's Rondo. Inside. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Well, you know, Rondo's a multi-time league assist leader. If you're open, he's getting you the rock. Here's Johnson, and then Johnson with the jam. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Boy, this is borderline ridiculous. I mean, every single attempt finding the bottom of the bucket. Johnson with the block. Tell you what, the long arms and great wingspan of Johnson well used and suited for the shot tonight. That one falls. Mikan's got his second basket. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Jones dishes to Parrish. And it's blocked. Here's James, and James throws it down. LeBron James throwing it down is a thing of beauty. An incredible athlete who makes dunking look as easy as it can look. Outside Rondo. Allen outside. There's the three. Basket is good. The assist from Rondo. Allen is lights out as a three-point shooter. Love how fast his release is. Stay And so James will bring it up for Los Angeles and a look at the five for the Celtics to start the fourth quarter. They've got Jones. Rajon Rondo is out there with Allen. Then it's Parrish. And it's Cowens in at the power forward position. I mean, you know what? Very close to a three-point play right there. Yeah, he almost got that one down. I mean, those are the kind of aggressive plays coaches love to see. And a chance for just a second now to check out the scoring breakdown for Los Angeles. And they haven't been pushed around in the paint at all in this game. They have been the aggressors. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. And the first one drops. Both good from the line that time. Now Rondo. Passes it to Cowens. Now here's Parrish. Outside Rondo. Over Goodrich. Rondo can't get it to go. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. James, no good. And Boston has possession. And Jones has it in the corner. Overworthy. Jones, no luck. These guys have had some good motion on offense. Nice assisting. 
And, and when everyone's involved offensively, it has a way of helping you on the defensive side as well. Now here's LeBron. And here is Goodrich. Lock at six. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's on Rajon Rondo. You know, Gail Goodrich is really good at drawing fouls. He's so aggressive as an offensive player, and I love the fact that he's got that ability to change pace, too, which makes him hard to guard. And the first one at the line is good. Chamberlain's checked in for the Lakers. Gasol comes in for James. Kevin Garnett, he's checked in for Boston. White comes in for Rajon Rondo. Both free throws good from Goodrich. We've gone about a minute and a half into the fourth quarter. Here's White. Chamberlain with the block. Man, what a well-coordinated athlete at his size. And to add that superior timing, hard to get shots over Wilt Chamberlain. And I'm glad we got to see the mobile one block once more. What a play. Determined to protect the lead with the all-out effort defensively. Superb anticipation on the block. Pierce has checked in for Ray Allen. Jones looking for an opening. From outside, off the mark. He's been ice cold tonight. And, you know, you look at the scoreboard guys, they really could have used his contributions. Here's Wilkes. Pierce covering. Chamberlain kicks to Gasol. The rebound by the Celtics. Outside Pierce. Pass to Parrish. He dishes it to Garnett. Shot clock at six. Pass to Parrish. Over Gasol. And the shot falls short this time. Well, you know, you'd like to see a little more effort there defensively, but maybe they wanted him to take that shot, baited him into it. The pass to Wilkes. Passes to Worthy. On the wing, Goodrich. Pierce covering. The shot comes out. Now Boston takes it the other way. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And finally, someone scores. <laughs> yeah, it's been a defensive battle to say the least, partner. Good to see at least somebody got the ball in the basket. Finally. Boston making a switch here. McHale's checked in. One shot. And that one falls for White. Goodrich with it. Around three minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Left side worthy. Back to Chamberlain. Five on the clock. Here's Goodrich. It's stolen by McHale. And you can see he just didn't get squared up with his feet. Those are always tough to judge, but I think the official got that one right. Baylor, he's checked in for Los Angeles. Los Angeles on D. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, allowing only three points. Jones, the pass to Garnett. It's White on the wing. Pass to Pierce. This one for three. Hits the three-point bomb. Boy, they've been terrific from beyond here in the second. 
exactly what the doctor ordered. Those three-point bombs will erase the deficit quickly if they can keep it up. Now, here's Gasol. Over McHale. Here's Chamberlain. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. Hey, tell you what, when it comes to rebounding now, there's the towering presence of Wilt and the willingness to engage in the fight. Here's White. Kicks it out to Jones. And again, Boston with the triple. And just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Now Goodrich releases from 15. And there's Baylor. That's good on the assist from Goodrich. Completely aware of everything around him. Goodrich quick to locate the open man. Jones dishes to Garnett. To the paint. White, good. White's got five points now this quarter. Now how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. 129 left to play here in the fourth. Now here's Goodrich. Shot clock at five. Here's Wilkes. And he finishes nicely on the layup. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. You got to work harder on the glass. Now here's White. It's Jones on the way. Over Wilkes. That misses off the backboard. They are enjoying the commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Gasol. Nice touch on the shot from close range. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. Pierce kicks to White. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Man, this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Here's Wilkes. So it's Los Angeles winning this one easily. They poured